changed and uh, what we preach has not changed. What has changed is that church's name. It comes nearly 25 years after a bombing put a spotlight on the Danville congregation. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The First Assembly of God Church will now be called Hope Unlimited. It's located on Walnut near Seminary Street. WCI 3's Jamal Williams is with us. So Jamal, why the name change after all of these years? Well, Jennifer, leaders tell me this plan has been more than a year in the making. The official name change just happens to fall right before the anniversary of the bombing. They don't want to forget their past, but they also want the name to reflect what the church represents for the Danville community. We have an amazing heritage of being a part of sharing the gospel in this community, and so we're very proud of that. But we also recognize that culture has shifted, the community has shifted. Danville's First Assembly Church of God is no more. Leaders announced the new name, Hope Unlimited, during a service over the weekend. Pastor Ryan Harris says it was long overdue. We felt like how we identified ourselves did not effectively tell our community who we were and what we wanted to accomplish. Next month marks 25 years since a pipe bomb went off right outside of the church. More than 30 people were hurt. Most of them were teenagers. Police say the suspect also bombed another church in Oakwood. He died in an explosion before they could interview him. Months later, a joint task force implicated him. Church administrator Bonnie Perry was at home the morning the bomb went off, but still remembers what that day was like. Well, at first, you feel guilty for all those that aren't there because that was your family, and you feel like even though you're glad you weren't part of that, you feel like you should have been. Whether churchgoers were at home or in the building that day, they still carry with them the events of May 28, 1998. But they've also moved forward. The church has too. Not just with the addition of a stage and more seating. Perry says the church is inclusive, which was a top priority. I loved my old church, we, you know, but it was an all-white church. And, you know, if you didn't look a certain way, if you didn't, it, it, you, you stuck out. <laughs> Harris says those steps, plus a new name, are all part of a plan to make sure everyone has a safe place to worship. But it is our hope that we are going to establish ourselves, not necessarily as a church where something tragic happened, but a church where you can go when tragedy strikes your life and find strength and hope and help. Harris says the church is still thinking of ideas to commemorate the anniversary next month, but says they'll take a lot of thought to make sure it's an event that includes everyone in Danville. Back to you. All right, Jamal, thank you.